Good morning and welcome to our daily learning video. Today's letter is the letter D. This is what letter D looks like, uppercase and lowercase D. And D is for dinosaurs. That's what we're gonna talk about today. Let's decorate the letter D. And we're going to decorate it with dots. So I have some sticker dots, but if you don't, you can just use a marker or a crayon and you can make some dots. Okay. Here we go. D is for dots and D is for dinosaurs. Now that we've decorated the letter, let's try to write the letter D, okay? To write letter D, you're going to make a number one. You're going to go back up to the top and you're going to blow one big bubble. <laughs> so let me show you that again, okay? Make a number one, go back to the top, and blow one big bubble. Now, if this is your preschool class, you can just practice on any paper you'd like, skywrite, or even just watch me. But if this is your pre-K or kindergarten class, you might wanna use some handwriting paper, and I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so on the handwriting house, to make the uppercase letter D, we're going to go to the top, make a line that comes straight down to the green carpet and we're going to blow one big bubble just like this start at the top make a number one and then blow a big bubble one big bubble one and a big bubble the big letters go upstairs and downstairs. So make sure you're touching the ceiling and touching the floor. Okay, now we're going to make the lowercase d. To do that, we're going to just make a number, a number one again, and then we're going to make a bubble that's going to go downstairs only. And it's going to go this way, to the left, to the left, if you remember writing letter B, it's the same way. The B had the bubble on this side. D is going to have the bubble on the other side. All right, let me show you that one more time, okay? Make your number one. Trace back up and over. You're going to go over to the left. Let's take a look at that on the handwriting house, okay? So this is one of those teenager letters. Normally the little letters have to stay downstairs, but little D is a teenager, so it can go upstairs just a little bit. And then we're going to trace back up and over. One, up and blow that little bubble. One, up and over. Can you try to write the lowercase d on your paper? You can pause right here and keep practicing, or you can try it later today, maybe for homework. So now that we know how to write the letter D, let's talk about what letter D sounds like. Letter D sounds like this, d, d, d. You try, d, d, d. Good, very good, d. It sounds like you're knocking on the door. So that's our hand motion for letter D. Just take your hand and pretend that you're knocking on the door. Letter D says, D, 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 D. <laughs> Let's try that again. What does letter D say? D, 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 D. Very good job. Well, we're going to do something fun for our language time today. We're going to be doing some rhyming words. And I have some dinosaurs right here on these boom cards. We're going to look and find the word that rhymes with the word that's right under the dinosaur. So here we see a king 
and I'm going to make sure that I've clicked the button so that you can hear the sound. If we get it right, we might hear a bell sound. So the word that um, the dinosaur is holding is king, and we want to find another word that rhymes with king or it sounds the same at the end. Our choices are tree, bear, or ring. What sounds like king? Ring. Good job. Now we see a bat. What rhymes with bat? Mouse, frog, or cat? Bat, cat. Fox. What rhymes with fox? Fan, box, or pig? Fox, box. Boat. What rhymes with boat? Goat, pear, star. Boat, goat. Ring. What rhymes with ring? Tree, bear, or swing? Ring, swing. Oh, and you did a great job with rhyming words. Now we're going to switch over and do some math. And for math today, we've been working all week on the number one. And we're going to drive a Jeep and try to see a dinosaur. So let's do this sheet together. I'll make sure that there's a link below so that the grown-up at your house can get a copy of this for you if you like it. All right, let's drive this Jeep. We're going to find all the number ones. And if you don't have this paper, you can just trace with your finger on the screen. We're going to drive to every number one that we can see. Oh, I see another number one. Which way should I go? Do you see another one? There it is. Let's keep driving. Hmm. Oh, this way, this way. Number one. Number one looks like this, a line straight down. Which way should I go next? Down and down again, okay. Now which way? To the left this way. We're just finding all the number ones. There's another one, there's another one. Oh, now I've gotta make a turn. I see a number one down here. I need to keep going. There's a number one. And then down, down, down. And then oh, I think we're getting close to the dinosaur. There he is. We drove the Jeep so that we could see the dinosaur. You can color this paper if you'd like. Now that was our math time. The next thing we're going to do is our shape practice. For shape practice today, we're just going to look back at these dots that we put on the letter D. What shape are these dots? They're, they are circles, very good. All of these are circles. A circle is round with no sides and no corners. So what shape is this? It's a circle, very good. For color practice today, we're just going to see if we remember Susie's circle. I'm sorry, we're going to do our song. Susie's circle is for our shape practice. This song is for our color practice. It's the way you spell R-E-D, and you can sing along if you remember. We sang this song on Monday. R-E-D, red, R-E-D, red, I can spell red. I can spell red, fire trucks are red, stop signs are red too, R-E-D, R-E-D. We're going to be making some red lava in just a moment during science, but right now let's do, I think next we'll do art, so let's do that right now. For art today, we're just going to be using some Play-Doh and making fossils. Dinosaurs don't live anymore, 
They lived a long time ago. God created dinosaurs the same day that he created the other land animals. Did you know that dinosaurs were even on the ark? You can visit, get a grown up to visit Answers in Genesis online and read more about that. Okay, so I'm just going to squish my Play-Doh like this. And I'm going to borrow one of the dinosaurs that I have on my shelf today. And I'm going to take his foot and just press it into the Play-Doh. And when I lift it up, it leaves the impression of his foot. That's a fossil. This is what we know that we have. A, this is all we have about dinosaurs today. They left behind some imprints and fossils and bones. So we know that they lived, even though they don't live right now. We call that extinct. When an animal doesn't live anymore, but it used to, it's called extinct. <clears throat> If you have a seashell or a rock or something else, you can make some other fossils with those things. Let's make a seashell fossil. Ooh, that's pretty cool. We'll have fun making some fossils today for art. Now we're going to do some science together. And for science, we're going to be making some dinosaurs walk in hot lava. It's going to be really, really cool. When you read books about dinosaurs, usually you see a really cool background with volcanoes and lava and a really pretty sunset. So that's what we're going to try to recreate in science. Okay, let's go. Okay, for science today, we're going to be using this dish and kind of recreating a dinosaur landscape. We don't really know what it was like when the dinosaurs lived. They definitely lived alongside people because God created them on the sixth day, the day that he also created people. I'm just adding some baking soda to the dish. I want to cover the whole bottom of the dish. Okay, next I'm going to be putting in some cool dinosaurs and some trees. You can look around and just find whatever you have for your little dinosaur landscape. I just have a few trees and I'm going to go to the shelf and borrow some of the dinosaurs that we had over there. So there's the dinosaur and here's another little dinosaur. Next, I'm going to take a dish and I'm going to pour some vinegar inside of it. Now I could leave it just like this, but I want this to look like hot lava. So I'm going to add just a dot of food coloring, maybe two dots. I'm gonna stir that around. I'm using an eyedropper, and you don't have to have an eyedropper. You could do this just by using a straw or even just pouring a little of your vinegar onto the baking soda. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some of the vinegar on the baking soda and watch and see what happens, okay? Whoa, it starts to bubble up. It kind of does look like lava that's spewing out somewhere from a far by from a faraway volcano. What's happening is a chemical reaction is taking place. When baking soda and vinegar mix, something cool happens, a chemical reaction. You can continue doing this, it's really, really fun. And that was our science experiment today. We made a chemical reaction by mixing some baking soda and vinegar. I'll come around now and read a story for story time. For story time today, we're going to be reading Danny and the Di Danny the Dinosaur. Sorry, Danny and the Dinosaur. There it is. Danny and the Dinosaur. This book is by Sid Hoff. Danny and the Dinosaur. One day, Danny went to the museum. He wanted to see what was inside. 
He saw Indians and bears and Eskimos. He saw guns and swords, and he saw dinosaurs. Danny loved dinosaurs. He wished he had one. I'm sorry they're not real, said Danny. It would be nice to play with a dinosaur. And I think it would be nice to play with you, said a voice. Can you? said Danny. Yes, I can talk, said the dinosaur. Oh, wow, said Danny. Well, what can we do together? I can take you for a ride, said the dinosaur. He put his head down so Danny could get on. Let's go, said Danny. A policeman stared at them. He had never seen a dinosaur stop for a red light. The dinosaur was so tall, Danny had to hold up the ropes for him. Look out, said Danny. Bow wow, bow wow, said a dog. He thinks you're a car, said Danny. He's chasing you. Go away, dog. We're not a car. I can make a noise like a car, though, said the dinosaur. Honk, honk, honk. What big rocks, said the dinosaur. They're not rocks, said Danny. They're buildings. I love to climb, said the dinosaur. Down, boy, said Danny. The dinosaur had to be very careful not to knock over houses or stores with his long tail. Some people were waiting for a bus. They rode on the dinosaur's tail instead. All who want to cross the street may walk on my back, said the dinosaur. It's very nice of you to help me with my bundles, said a lady. Danny and the dinosaur went all over town and had lots of fun. It's good to take an hour or two off after thousands of years, said the dinosaur. They even looked at the ball game. Hit the ball, said Danny. Get a home run, said the dinosaur. I wish we had a boat, said Danny. Who needs a boat? I can swim, said the dinosaur. Toot, toot, went the boats. Toot, toot, went Danny and the dinosaur. Oh, what lovely green grass, said the dinosaur. I haven't eaten anything like that for a very long time. Wait, said Danny. See what it says? It says, keep off the grass. So instead, they both ate ice cream. Let's go to the zoo and see the animals, said Danny. Everybody came running to see the dinosaur. Nobody stayed to see the lions. Nobody stayed to see the elephants. Nobody stayed to see the monkeys. And nobody stayed to see the seals, the giraffes, the, or the hippos. Please go away so the animals will get looked at, said the zoo man. Let's find my friends, said Danny. Very well, said the dinosaur. There they are, said Danny. Why, it's Danny the dinosaur. Now, sorry, I must start over. Why, it's Danny riding on a dinosaur, said a child. Maybe he'll give us a ride. May we have a ride on your back? I'd be delighted, said Danny. Hold on tight. Around and around the block, they ran faster and faster and faster. This is better than the merry-go-round, the children said. The dinosaur was out of breath. Teach him tricks, said the children. Danny taught the dinosaur how to shake hands, how to roll over on his back. <clears throat> That's easy, he said. He's smart, said Danny, patting the dinosaur. Let's play hide and seek, said the children. How do you play, said the dinosaur. We hide and you find us. The dinosaur covered his eyes. All the children ran to hide. The dinosaur looked and looked, but he couldn't find the children. I give up, he said. Now it was the dinosaur's turn to hide. The children covered their eyes. The dinosaur hid behind a house. The children found him. He hid behind a sign. The children found him. He hid behind a big gas tank. The children found him. They found him again and again and again. I guess there's no place for me to hide, said the dinosaur. Let's make believe we can't find him, Danny said. Dinosaur, oh dinosaur, where could he be? We give up, said the children. Here I am, said the dinosaur. Hooray, the dinosaur wins, cried the children. 
Hooray for the dinosaur. Hooray, hooray. It got late and the other children left. Danny and the dinosaur were alone. Well, goodbye, Danny, said the dinosaur. Wait, can't you come home with me, said Danny. We could have so much fun. No, said the dinosaur. I've had a good time. The best time I've had in thousands of years. But now I must get back to the museum. They need me there. Oh, said Danny. Well, goodbye. Danny watched until the long tail was out of sight. Then he went home again. Oh, well, thought Danny. We don't have room for a pet that size anyway. But we did have a wonderful day. The end. Well, I hope you've had a wonderful day. D is for dinosaurs. Don't forget to do your handwriting practice. You can decorate letter D, maybe even make a dinosaur scene and do some vinegar and baking soda science. I'll see you next time for letter E. Goodbye.